Uh, our book today is called When I'm Feeling Loved by Trace Maroney. When I'm Feeling Loved, written and illustrated by Trace Maroney. When I'm feeling loved, I feel like I could grow wings and fly high up in the sky amongst the stars. When I'm feeling loved, I feel warm and safe and protected, like being wrapped up in clouds of cotton wool. Feeling loved makes me feel special. Some things that make me feel loved are when a friend puts their arm around me and says thank you for being a good friend, or when my dog Poppy licks my face, or when my mom or dad tucks me into bed at night and says, I love you my little snuggle bunny. Feeling loved makes me feel strong, so when something difficult happens, I feel more confident to try to work it out by myself. When I'm feeling loved, I feel more happy and more confident with the person that I am. Being loved teaches me how to love others and myself. Love is so easy to share. I love being loved. Do you? So today we're going to do a little craft decoration that you can give to somebody that you love. And you can do that on Valentine's Day or you can do that on any day. So. To start, we need a piece of cardboard. So I just used a piece of cardboard out of the recycle and I um, drew a heart on there and cut it out. So to decorate our heart, we need um, tissue paper. So whatever your favorite color of tissue paper is for the person that you're gonna give your heart to. So what I did is I just took um, a couple layers of tissue paper, like six or eight layers of tissue paper, so you're not doing as much cutting. And I cut some strips. Once you've cut your strips, you can go ahead and cut squares. So you can make them as big or small as you want. I made mine about probably six or eight centimeters by six or eight centimeters. So then you've got your squares. <clears throat> then you're going to need some glue. It's a nice sticky glue is good. So this is called tacky glue. It works great because it sticks really quickly. So you also need a pencil or a pen or a little piece of wood dowel or something. And you just take your little squares and you put your pencil end into the center of the square and you just scrunch it around your pencil. Maybe roll it in your fingers so it's nice and tight on there. Put your glue on the end of your tissue and then you can choose a pattern or you can randomly decorate your heart. So that would be your first piece and so what I did is went all the way around the outside in one color and then I took another color for the center and I, once I had my outside edge completed, filled up the center with the color so you can make a pattern or no pattern whichever you like so as you can see on the one that I have almost finished here I did my dark pink around the outside and then I just finished up the center with the light pink And then you just need to fill it nice and full so that it looks really decorated. So you can see I have a little spot left in the center for mine. And then if you fluff them up, you can always add a squeeze in a few more or you can, can um, fill it as full as you like. You squeeze your paper on the end of your pencil. Put your little dab of glue on there. Fill up all your spots. 
And then I just took a piece of ribbon, whatever color you like, and I put a little dab of glue on the back of my heart here. And I fastened it on there, and I also put a little piece of tape on there just because the glue doesn't dry quick enough for the ribbon to hold. So once you have it on there with the glue and the tape, it'll be nice and strong. So then you can use that as a little hanging. You can hang it on your fridge with a magnet. You can give it to somebody you love.